Hey guys, it's Lucy. I feel like I'm going through a little bit of a rough patch in terms of my fitness journey. We're just gonna go on a little bit of a rant and we're gonna use this as a therapy session. And if anybody can relate to anything I say, then we're all in this together and everything will work out in the end. <laughs> That's my thought process anyway. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Lucy. I've been on a running and weight loss journey since February 2020. In the beginning of my journey, I weighed 230 pounds. I was unable to run for more than 30 seconds at a time. I tried to find someone who had been in the position that I had been in and ended up not only hitting the goals that I wanted to hit, but exceeding them, making me realize that it definitely was possible for me to achieve. To cut a long story short, I've lost a lot of weight, I've run a lot of miles, and I've decided to become that YouTuber that I needed to see way back then. So if you think this might be the kind of content that you need right now, or you think you're just gonna enjoy it, then hit that subscribe button, become a virtual running buddy. All levels of runners are welcome here. I'm gonna head to the gym. So let's get ready for that. I'm gonna stick on my ultramarathon t-shirt because it just makes me feel better that I have this and it's super comfy. I've gone with some Gymshark leggings and just some plain, simple trainer socks. <laughs> They're cutting the grass out the front if you can hear that, but let's get those trainers on and get in the car and go to the gym. I'm at the gym. <laughs> Anyone else just pull up at the gym and just... Uh, in the car, you know? <laughs> just me. <laughs> I just hope it's not too busy. It is quarter past nine on a Friday morning. So fingers crossed. But before I go into what I'm worried about, I'm going to top myself up with some endorphins from a workout. Right, let's go in. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> I'm out. I've done it. Done. <laughs> 45 minutes in there. I focused on legs today. I just completely killed my legs. I'm going to have that jelly leg feeling later, which is going to be brilliant. But I can feel the endorphins already. I feel so much better. But I do have one question. If you go to the gym, I'm still such a newbie. It's ridiculous. But if you do go to the gym, what do you do in between sets? I just kind of look around. I ended up reading the Daily Mail on my phone in between sets. I literally have no idea what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I know there's no rules or anything, but I just, I had to look at my phone because it just felt awkward. I just sat there. Let me know in the comments below, what do you do in between sets? Because I'm probably just gonna end up reading the Daily Mail, which <laughs> can be a little bit depressing sometimes, can't it, reading the news? <laughs> One of the things I feel like is really holding me back is now Matt, my husband, is gonna be away for the next six months. Now he's away, I have a Monday and I have a Friday and I wanted to get to the gym at least once a week, which I can do now, but the only problem is I only have Monday, Friday to get all of my week's workouts in. So in terms of gym and running, I'm just really struggling because I just don't feel like I have the time. I'm paying money every month to this gym and if I don't get to go out for a run, the only annoying thing really is that I've not been able to do something that I wanted to do, but at least it hasn't cost me any money. When Matt was here and when Matt is here, I can come here every day of the week if I want to because he'll be here in the evenings and obviously stay home with our daughter and I can go off to the gym. That's what I was doing. I was going in the evenings and then spending my Monday and Friday in the day to do my runs 
but now I have to incorporate the gym. So today I got 45 minutes done in the gym. I'm going to take Storm out for a walk instead of going for a run today because I just don't feel like I've got it in me. I've just completely annihilated my legs in that gym and the thought of now having to run uh, is quite daunting actually. So it is going to have to be a walk today for Storm. But I mean, Storm loves his walks just as much as he loves his runs. So <laughs> welcome to Monday. I'm out on a foggy monday morning to get my run done obviously storm needs his run too so we set off this morning together didn't have a route planned as per usual <laughs> but we're out we've done nearly 2k it's just hectic isn't it running with a dog sometimes i made sure he went to the toilet before we left so i knew i wouldn't have to worry about picking anything up <laughs> in the first mile i had to pause my watch twice so he could stop and have long excessive wheeze and i also had to pause my watch on another occasion because he dropped a little package so i had to pick that up another dog came he was like oh look another dog pulling me <laughs> and then i had to find a poo bin oh it was all a big palaver all a big palaver <laughs> Okay, now that is two miles done. Obviously, the last clip that I filmed, I was in my car on the Friday after the gym and I did a really, really good session on that Friday. One of the things I am worried about is I am just an average person and what is going to be holding me back for the next six months is, as I mentioned, I've only got those Mondays and Fridays to fit a whole week's workout. Now, a whole week's workout for me would be running at least four times a week on average, not every single week, but it would average out to about four times a week. So that means I've got to get four days worth of runs into two days, but I'm going to run <laughs> while I'm doing this because I'm taking too long. So on that Friday, I chose to walk Storm instead of run him, which means last week I only got out for one run. I've worked so, so hard to get to this level where I'm at now, which isn't phenomenal in the grand scheme of things, but for me, it is. I just couldn't get myself out for a run after that session. It was too, it was too hard, I'm not used to that. And I've been sore for the last, well, all over the weekend, it's Monday now. For me to fit in that whole week of workouts, I'm gonna have to do multiple sessions every Monday and Friday. I wouldn't be able to give my all in each individual session like I do in a whole week because they're having to be squeezed into one day or two days. With having the limited time, I just feel like I wanna make the most of the time I have got and what I can do but then that just puts pressure on it and putting pressure on it doesn't always work for me it's not it's different to like a pressure of a race it's like the pressure of this workout has to go exactly how I need it to go if not better but on top of that I also need to do another session straight after that <laughs> which also needs to go exactly how I need it to go or better but you know my channel has always been about real life a real journey and do you know what Sometimes this happens. Sometimes I don't get the option to get up in the morning at 5 a.m. Sometimes I don't have the option to wait until my husband's back from work because I'll have to wait six months, you know? <laughs> Tuesday evening and I have my cauldron of tea oh that's quite hot actually <laughs> let's set that down to cool off but yes it is now Tuesday and I have not been out for a run and I've not been able to get to the gym <laughs> on a Tuesday I work from home and I've got to pick my daughter up from school there's no opportunity for me to go running. I don't normally sit and film with you guys in the evening but I decided to turn the camera on tonight because after I put my daughter to bed I came downstairs and I did some extra housework that I didn't manage to get done in the day. I was just thinking in my head 
I was really in my head about my fitness and I thought, you know what, I'm going to turn the camera on and I'm going to film this because it's really something that I feel is holding me back and will hold me back for the next six months. As that is the theme of this week's video, <laughs> then let's get into it. The only way I feel like I can put it is, I am absolutely petrified of losing my fitness. I'm worried that I'm not gonna be able to maintain where I am now. And I have recently just moved to this area and it's super hilly. And I have seen improvements in my fitness in terms of the hills but i'm worried that that's as far as it's gonna go i want to be able to push myself and improve what i don't understand about myself and what i'm getting confused about is that i can be so concerned and worried about losing my fitness yet when it comes to being motivated to get out there and do the hard work i am so unmotivated like, how do those two emotions live together at the same time? <laughs> how does that work? I obviously know that I haven't got as much time. Normally, if Matt was home, I would be able to get out and run at some point of the day, every single day of the week. Now he's not here, I haven't got that option. I'm gutted that I haven't got that option. And I'm super scared that because I'm not physically going out and doing it, I'm not getting fitter. Yet when I am out there on the runs, I'm really struggling and my motivation is quite low. Is it the pressure that I'm putting on myself to maintain this level of fitness, making me unmotivated? Am I not reacting well to this level of pressure? I don't know, I'm a little confused. This whole running journey has taught me so much about myself and yet three and a half years in, I'm still learning. Oh, that's still quite hot actually, <laughs> but We'll have to wait and see, won't we? That's the fun of it, isn't it? Where's the fun in knowing that you're gonna get what you want? It's the journey that we do this for, not necessarily the destination. I will get to my next ultra marathon, regardless of how I get there, I will get there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Let me know in the comments below, what is the most common thing that makes you feel unmotivated? And guys, I will see you soon for some more updates. Bye guys, I'm finished my tea now.